What's going on everybody? Welcome back to part four of the Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. In the last video, I feel like we had the best boss fight so far. It was that crazy night. He was going crazy. He was teleporting all over the place. And I think he did put up the best fight. It was actually the most appealing to look at. And just, I'm just genuinely having a lot of fun with this game. When I first loaded the game, I had the quote unquote cheat codes and it was making the game really easy. So I'm like, oh man, I don't know. It kind of, it kind of put me and mixed feelings about it but now that i'm playing the game how it's intentionally supposed to be played i'm not gonna lie i'm having a lot of fun with it i can definitely see why people are saying this is game of the year contender worthy because it's so far it's becoming one of my favorites this year i'm not gonna waste any more time let's jump straight back into the game if you're loving the series if you're loving the playthroughs make sure you smash that like button down below subscribe to the channel turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video every time they go live Let's get it. I had to double down. I was lost inside my head until I lost and found that these perkies and these meds won't lift me off the ground. Either my heart aching or it's crying out. I didn't been through so much pain. I want to fire. Sometime later. I'm telling you, that last boss was tough, bro. So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. And I put on Any subtitles for the people that were asking. The around. The fallen ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. Shame that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Hmm. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. I put the I switched the game back to graphics mode. I mean, um, quality mode because I don't know, bro. Performance mode was just really bad. Like the dips between 60 to as low as 30 FPS were really insane. It only kept a stable 60 when you're in a fight because all the other um, you know qualities. It even like dipped down to 720p just so it could keep that stable 60. But when you, as soon as you come out the fight, as soon as you come out of a fight, that shit dips below 60 FPS crazy. So I'm like, you know what, bro? We're just gonna stay in, in quality mode and call it a day. <laughs> That's cute. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as way marks. Mmm. Copy. Fast travel. Oh shit, he's booking it now. There we go. It's over. Oh my god. They didn't deserve that, but hey man. He be pushing it. Friends or foes. This might take a while. I don't understand. There, boy. They need some type of light in this game. Oh my god, Clive. More balloons. But why? What is it they want? You're welcome to ask the next ones we meet. 
Let me know how it goes. It is dark as fuck. I wonder who we're going to find here because it's like, aren't we the second icon? Unless it's just like a ploy, like the game was just trying to lie to us the entire time. That's possible too. No sign of the royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scout. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? He's all about secrecy. I like it though. I don't even know what he looks like. Nah, there gotta be some light in this game, bro. The village can't be completely abandoned, can it? What the hell? Yes, mate. I'm flattered, but let's stick to the plan, eh? So what are you doing then? <laughs> that sounds like a child. What the hell? Imperial Army, and we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In, in the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here until then? To the church, then. Let's get it, Clive. We're going to find who we're going to see. This is definitely the scout. This man's going to die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Stand back. Yo, Sid is so tough, bro. Mm. Who the hell are you? Clive! <laughs> I thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No, there were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. That's where he's going. Clive, after him. <laughs> they, go, they go scared. <laughs> Come here. Yo, why is he running so slow? Book it, nigga. Yo, why is he running so slow? Nah, it's all this useless gear he got on. We gotta change this drip, bro. Any word from the scouts? Not yet, my lady. But we have the dominant companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. 
And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Kaer Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the Dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> my thanks. To our Lady of the Wind! And the King! Ugh. Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Benedicta! Imperials! Uh-oh. And instead of killing them, you lead the rat straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> Look what we have here, boys. An Imperial Bearer. God, I was getting bored. Who does she think I am? Watch this. Boo. These visuals is tough, man. She's a dominant. Where did? Dance, I figured as much. This means what I think it does. And so it has some explosion. Oh my goodness, I am blocked. Yes, sir. I dodge that. Dodge that too.
Light work. Light work. This is light work, man. He be tired after every fight, though. You've got some fight in you, even for a branded. Clive! <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked you a question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Lot is, I mean, Sid is tough, bro. Have secured the dominant. Holy oh, something is there. And she's gone. Say where she was going. No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just. Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. <sighs> Sid is smart, though. You could tell he had, like, past experiences with all this kind of shit. At all, they were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. No offense. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brand, and then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. This is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't help when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. He's a people person. He knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Whose tamed ones a thousand unslain but tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led And watched as a million foes turned tail and fled His lance levels mountains, it spanned as the deep The skies over storm breaks for Listen, Clive. And the Revenge won't bring him back. He won't. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be a slave, then.
God damn, nigga. His radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While well, Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. No way, right? My offer still stands. Join us, and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Lord Margrace, don't! I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. So he was the one there. Because I remember that hoodie and all. It doesn't look like much change though in 13 years. It looks like the same height, everything. Clive. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Gav's back. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way... <laughs> I I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Yo, t yo Sid... Uh, he might be my. Down. He might be my favorite character in the game right now, man. I won't. Clive, you gotta Christ. do some. You gotta no do something to put me back in your side, bro. Not I ain't gonna lie. We wait until tomorrow. But he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. He's smart. You could tell he's older. He's experienced. You know, even though Clive is 28 now, he's just not as experienced as somebody. He's like Sid, obviously. He was a commander. Clive was only just, you know, becoming a shield when he was 15. And then he got taken. So he didn't really get the formal training that he was supposed to get. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's nice kip. <laughs> I 
All right. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I got a friend named Quentin. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him. You won't believe me if I told you. Quentin here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? And he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. Yeah, take that shit off, man. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. As they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take that shit off for him. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. May the mothers guide you. Damn, what the hell is that? It might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means. And what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Let's see if this thing really works. Okay. This is like a spell. Oh shit! That was tough. I like that little mantle. Ah, Master Quinton took a lark into you, I see. And there I was thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? Oh shit! I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you get a look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have died. Thank you. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. Of course, it's a good I... thing you done today. Of course, rid I of those am. Bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now, along with the others. Poor buggers. These others. Was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how he was. Else about him. Only that he weren't alone. Was a young maid who went wherever he did. Including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. I'll tell you one thing for nothing. That girl with the hooded bloke weren't his missus. 
More like his pet blimmin' curl. Ready to pounce. The hanged man is always watching. <laughs> As if he had aught better to do. That's what happens when you command respect. When people just respect you. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. So, a shady lad with a hood, and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalist to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waluders have her, our dominance like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? I don't know. Listen, if it's the same one that that pulled up 13 years ago, I don't even I don't even see how Clyde is even gonna handle that. Like with Sid's help, yeah. maybe. Well those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> My thanks, Quentin. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. Hey man, do something for me, I do something for you. That's just that's just the way life goes. Sometimes. Sometimes you do acts of service without anything in return, but for the most time, for the most part, well, you help me, I help you. Longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade. It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Well, I should rather wait. No more waiting. Clive is ready, like. The road south, then. Unless. I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. Appreciate your help with the Royalists' barricade earlier. We'll see you the rest. Is that dog? Oh, here we go. Come back to me, my darling. The road here cuts through Lorbert's Pass to Cairn Northern. You're not thinking of heading that way, are you? If the Royalists were looking to take the care, they'd have posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprises. At least I would have. Well, you should know. Thank you, like, turn that shit on. Work. 
Wait, did I miss anything? Look, I definitely did. What are the royalists thinking? Why take a stronghold they've no chance of holding? When they've no intention of holding it. The king is up to something. The king? Who is this king? Well, you don't think they're acting on a whim, do you? This is one of his majesty's cunning stunts. And he sent his best to execute it. I want to know who this king is. This might take a while. Don't let them get away. Oh, shit. Stay down. Oh my god. I'll tell your lady you try. The combos go when you get nice with it, the combos go insane. Okay, Norman's. Hard not to crack even when it isn't crawling with royalists. I don't care who else is in there. Actually, I'm about to say I have enough upgrades for something. I'm going to do this one. God damn, there's an upgrade? And then I'm going to do this one. Wait, let me just see something. It looks like you could only put two. Looks like you can only do two. All right, so I think that's it. Everything else costs a everything else costs a bag up here. Yeah. Nigga snuck up on me. Holy shit, Clyde. Keep your distance, boy. It's over. Yeah, I got the hang of it now. Uh-oh. So we just gonna storm the castle or what? Much as I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Facts. Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They have my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. Ready for a place like that. So, until it is, I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. Alright, I ain't gonna front live. 
shit is blowing past you, bro. I need you to lock in because he's my favorite character. <laughs> Damn, I couldn't get the freaking. Why would they put it that close, bro, to the main objective? So, tell me about this, Benedicta. The best and worst decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. <laughs> Warden of the wind. <laughs> oh, shit. He's telling me, like, nigga, you're not ready. Hey. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. I had to fucking. That's one thing about this game. This game is so linear. It's just going to lock you, like, right there. Why would you put the objective that close? Like, anyway. Anyway. With that being said, that'll be the end of today's playthrough. I'm having such a blast playing this game. Sid is becoming my favorite character by far in the game. Clive, you know, he was he was there at first, but Sid just has more swagger and he has, I feel like he just has more character agency about him. And he's just more likable in my opinion. Clive is just very one dimensional, but I'm, I can't wait to see how his progression comes later on in the game. Again, I can't stress this enough. If you guys want to see more of these playthroughs, make sure you like the video. Like this video. Comment down below. Let me know who your favorite character is. And subscribe to the channel. Turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video every time they go live. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. On the map, now they got me in my bag. You was laughing, now I'm up. Now it's up and it's stuck. Now I'm flexing, screws my duck. I'm too tired, I'm bluff. Nigga, please don't try your luck. Yeah, yeah, please don't try your luck. Now I'm bold, I'm do the most. Hopping foreigns, now we ghosts. Smoke exotic, just a coat.